All right, so today we're going to check out the uh, Cinco M1P versus the Boya BYMM1. Both very good budget, uh, I guess, mic options. But before we get started, let me know in the comments below which one do you think is going to be better? Which one do you think is going to take the crowns today in this comparison? How's it going, guys? My name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So before we get started with the comparisons between these two microphones, let's just like go through the specs so you can see kind of like what they look like on paper and then we'll dive into the actual like audio specs uh, and comparisons like that. And if you do find this video helpful, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so then more people on YouTube can actually see it. So first up, we have the Cinco M1P. It's $49, comes with a dead cat, a TRS and a TRRS cable. And that's the cable that you need to use if you're gonna like use a microphone on a mobile device. It also comes with a mini tripod and a phone mount, which is super cool. Like, it's just like an added bonus that just comes in the box. I wasn't expecting this, but super cool addition. Or well, you can also use that tripod as well, just to actually like mount the mic on a table or a desk if you're doing like a podcast. So super versatile. It has a sound noise ratio of 76 decibels, a sensitivity of 42 decibels plus or minus two decibels, cardioid pickup pattern and a frequency response of 35 hertz to 18 kilohertz. And on the other hand, the Boya BYMM1 is $53, also comes with that dead cat, the TRS and the TRRS cable. They can use like with your mobile device, but it doesn't come with a tripod or that phone mount. But it has that same sound noise ratio of 76 decibels and a sensitivity of 42 decibels as well well, but it's only got a plus or minus one decibel range, a cardio pickup pattern and a frequency response of 35 hertz to 18 kilohertz as well. So on paper, both these mics basically are nearly exactly the same. The only difference I guess is that the Cinco comes with this little tripod mount and the little phone mount as well. So super cool. Now it's worth mentioning as well that both these mics actually don't have any battery. So they're powered via that 3.5 millimeter cable. So this means that if your camera can't provide power, a phantom power by that three and a half millimeter cable, then it won't work. So if you ha are having issues like with this not working on your device, then see if you can turn on phantom power. I think you need plus 24 volts to actually get this working. But yeah, that's probably what's going to happen if you're trying on a device and it doesn't work. Right, so now let's actually get into the audio test between these two mics and uh, we can see which one reckon sounds better. All right, so this is a test on the Boya BYMM1 versus the Cinco M1P. I'm about a meter away from the camera. We're outdoors, there's a little bit of construction going on across the road uh, and a few birds and whatnot. But what does it sound like? Does it sound good? Does it sound clean? And which one sounds better, the Boya or the uh, Cinco M1P? What do you reckon, Odie? Which one sounds better? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now another thing I like to test is how well a mic handles clipping. So I've got them up really loud at the moment. So when I speak loud like this, obviously it's going to start clipping on the microphones, but I want to know which one sounds better. So obviously when they clip, a lot of microphones just lose a lot of detail. But can you actually still understand what I'm saying through, say, like the Boya right now? We're listening to the Boya and we're clipping on there. What about the Cinco? So this one is the Cinco. And can you still understand what I'm saying, even though it is clipping the audio a bit? Or does it just sound absolutely terrible on either the Boya or on the Cinco? So from listening back to the actual audio test, I've noticed a few things. So both mics, honestly, they sound great considering like how cheap they are. I'm very, very impressed. But I did notice that the uh, on the second test, the Boya is a little bit more muffled, picks up more of those low end frequencies. Whereas the Cinco seems to pick up more of the high end frequencies. And with the clipping tests, I think that the Cinco seemed to retain a tiny bit more information when it was actually clipping, although both of them didn't sound good at all. So if you are gonna like be running these really hot, make sure to not clip them because they don't, it doesn't sound good. You heard it, like it does not sound good. Now in terms of design, they're pretty much identical. The one thing that the Cinco doesn't have is our little notches that the Boya has here. And it means that mounting the little uh, shock mount on it 
It doesn't work as well because there's no notches for it to stop. So I've noticed that it can kind of slip off. And also when you're also mounting the uh, the windsock on there, it doesn't hold on as nice as say the uh, the Boyer because there's actually notches for it to hold on to. So yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. Another thing is that the shock mount on the Boyer seems to be way better, but it doesn't uh, give as much shock absorption. So it's much more solid, much more rigid. So obviously it will hold the mic better. Um, and this little locking mechanism on the bottom is way better. But because the Cinco has obviously like much more movement, it means that it's going to get rid of those shocks and those like vibrations much better. For me personally though, I honestly think that the uh, Cinco M1P is a better bang for buck option, mainly because like they basically nearly sound exactly the same, but with the Cinco, you're getting the tripod and the phone mount and a whole bunch of other accessories as well. So super duper cool, especially if you're like just getting into vlogging or making content and you need to get these things anyway. Like, why not pick up the mic and get it all in one kit? But let me know in the comments below which one you would actually pick up and why. And again, if you want to pick up any of these items, I'll leave some links down below. And as always, guys, stay creative and just be you. See ya.